Imagine walking into a crowded medieval courtroom. The judge sits high above, robed in solemn authority. The townsfolk lean forward in anticipation. But here's the strange part. The accused isn't a thief, a murderer, or even a human being. The defendants are rats. Yes, actual rats, blamed for stealing grain. What I'm about to show you is a complete game changer. The Medieval Times history niche is blowing up on YouTube right now, pulling in millions of views and creating steady streams of passive income for channels that only started a few months ago. The best part? These videos are so easy to make that once you understand the process, it will feel like you are creating content in your sleep. This niche thrives on three powerful elements, history, storytelling, and immersive visuals. When combined, they capture attention, boost watch time, and keep viewers hooked from start to finish. For example, look at channels dedicated to medieval history. In less than a year, they have amassed over 118,000 subscribers and racked up millions of views simply by focusing on knights, castles, epic battles, and royal drama. And yes, they are monetized. Right now, medieval topics are trending everywhere. Just typing medieval into YouTube shows you a wave of searches happening in real time. If you missed out on the sleeping historian niche when it was exploding, this is your second chance to ride the wave. And here is the kicker. You do not need multiple complicated AI tools. Forget juggling scripts, voices, and images separately. Today, I will show you how to do everything inside one free app, CapCut AI. Stick around, hit that like button, and let's dive in. The very first step is finding the right topics, because every viral video begins with a strong idea. CapCut's AI video maker can generate scripts, but we are going to boost its results by pairing it with ChatGPT. I've prepared custom prompts that will give you medieval history topics already proven to attract attention. Comment I want it, and I will send it to you immediately. Simply copy the first prompt and paste the prompt into ChatGPT. Choose how many ideas you want, and let it generate a list. If none of them spark your interest, just run it again until you find one that excites you. To save you time, I've also created a document with the prompt I use to get ready to use viral ideas. If you want it, drop a comment saying I need this, and I'll share it with you. Once you settle on a topic, the next step is creating your script. Go back to my document, copy the second prompt, paste it into ChatGPT, and replace the placeholder with your chosen topic. For this niche, starting with 15 to 20 minutes of storytelling works perfectly, and you can always expand into longer videos later. In just a few seconds, you will have a script ready for voiceover. Remember to include sensory details like the smoky smell of medieval markets, the sound of steel clashing, or the chilling silence of a dungeon. These touches immerse your viewers and keep them watching until the very end. If you are enjoying this so far, make sure to hit that like button so I know you are following along. Now comes the exciting part, creating your video inside CapCut. Open CapCut on your PC or mobile. If you don't have it, click the CapCut link in the video description, download the software for free and install it on your computer. Once that is done, sign in with your Gmail, launch your CapCut and select the AI Video Maker. This single tool can handle almost everything for you. It helps you brainstorm ideas, generate avatars, match visuals to your script, and most importantly, create complete AI videos instantly. Click on Instant AI Video, paste in your script, and choose a style that matches the mood you want. For example, you could try something like prehistoric, just to experiment. Select a 169 aspect ratio, pick a voice, and if none of them seem perfect, use Good Guy for now, then hit Create. Within moments, CapCut will generate visuals, narration, pacing, and captions automatically. Once your video is built, you can start refining it. To change the voice, click on Scene Voice, pick a new option, and regenerate. For visuals, if CapCut skips a scene, go to Scene and hit Generate. If you do not like a particular image, simply click Replace and generate again to get four fresh options. Finally, it is time for finishing touches. To achieve the same polished look as successful channels like Medieval Times Discovered, open the project by clicking Edit More. Here is the secret to monetization. Do not just rely on AI-generated images. Add in relevant clips, extra visuals, and text elements to give your video a professional edge that stands out. When it comes to visuals, you want your audience to feel fully immersed in the medieval world. Instead of just relying on AI images, take the time to search for extra footage and stills that will give your video more depth. You can find incredible copyright-free medieval clips and images on web and sites like Medievalist.net, Pixabay.com or Pexels.com, both of which are completely safe to use on YouTube. 
To make your videos feel alive, sprinkle in subtle sound effects, such as the clash of swords, the crackle of firewood, or the chatter of a crowded market. Keep the volume low so it blends naturally with the narration. These details do more than create atmosphere, they also improve your RPM. The more polished and immersive your content feels, the longer people watch, which means YouTube serves more ads and your passive income grows with every upload. For background music, avoid heavy epic movie scores and instead lean toward ambient loot or harp tracks that create a steady medieval vibe. You can easily find free tracks online, but avoid them. Rather, you can safely download options directly from YouTube's own audio studio. Once you have everything exactly the way you want it, it is time to export your video. Click on Export, type in your video title, and choose the resolution that best fits your needs. For this tutorial, I recommend selecting 1080p since it gives you a crisp professional look without creating an overly large file. After that, click Export again, and the video will be downloaded directly to your device. With the file saved, you are ready to see the final result. Let's go ahead and preview what we have created together. Imagine walking into a crowded medieval courtroom. The judge sits high above, robed in solemn authority. The townsfolk lean forward in anticipation. But here's the strange part. The accused isn't a thief, a murderer, or even a human being. The defendants are rats. Yes, actual rats, blamed for stealing grain, destroying crops, and threatening entire communities. And in this courtroom, these rodents are granted lawyers, summoned by official notices, and sometimes even sentenced to exile or execution. This isn't a fantasy tale. In the bizarre legal traditions of medieval Europe, animals were literally put on trial, and rats were among the most notorious offenders. So today, we were diving deep into one of the strangest forgotten traditions of the Middle Ages, the bizarre medieval law that made rats stand trial to understand how such a law could exist. We first need to step back into daily life in medieval times, imagine the Middle Ages, crowded. Villages of wooden houses, smoky hearths, and muddy streets. For most people, life revolved around survival farming, tending livestock, and storing enough food to last through long, harsh winters. Grain wasn't just a resource, it was life itself. A family's survival depended on their stores of wheat, barley, or rye. And rats were a constant threat. They crept into granaries at night, devouring the harvest, spreading disease, and multiplying with terrifying speed. But why blame the animals instead of just exterminating them? The answer lies in the medieval worldview. In these times, religion and law were deeply entwined. The church held immense influence, and every creature human or animal was seen as part of God's creation, bound by moral order. If humans could be punished for crimes, why not animals too? And so, across Europe, legal systems developed strange customs where pigs, goats, insects, and especially rats could be formally charged in court. It sounds absurd to us, but to medieval people, it made perfect sense. Yet how exactly did these trials work? Let's step into one of the most famous cases. This next step is absolutely critical for getting clicks. Do not let AI randomly decide your thumbnail concept before you even have a clear vision. Always map out the idea first. For example, if my video is about rats in jail, I might imagine a rat sitting behind bars in a medieval prison. It sounds wild, but that is exactly why it works. It is unusual, funny, and instantly clickable. Once you have the idea, Use ChatGPT to create a detailed prompt that brings your concept to life. Then, instead of bouncing between expensive image generators, take advantage of Google Wisk, which is completely free. Paste your prompt in, set the aspect ratio to 16:9, and generate. In seconds, you will get four variations to choose from. Pick the strongest one and refine it in Canva to add text or small finishing touches. Here is the truth about thumbnails. They are not about looking beautiful, they are about triggering curiosity and emotion. That mix is what stops people from scrolling and gets them to click. If this was helpful, smash that like button so the algorithm knows it is worth sharing. Subscribe to AI Pipeline for more AI-powered tutorials, and join my WhatsApp channel where I share ideas, prompt, and free AI tools. Hit that red button and let's grow together. I will see you in the next video.